This is an effigy of a black vulture made from a rubber stall mat using a design that University of Kentucky Extension Wildlife Management Professor Matt Springer adapted from a schematic he found online. Springer's graduate student constructed the effigy and Springer says black vultures are keenly aware of another dead vulture. And what we've seen, what we do know about vultures and, and dealing with vulture problems is that they are very um, cognizant of other dead versions of themselves. Uh, so when they see something that looks like them that looks dead, uh, they're less likely to be in that area land on the ground. So what we came up with was a, a design where we just cut out a rubber mat. Um, Springer says the effigy is pretty off, easy to construct, taking less than two hours and costing around $30. That is the current um, and, management you know, strategy for controlling black vultures, and, and Springer what, what says the point is, is to make the birds feel uncomfortable. I mean, if you have a hose, you can spray them with water, you can use lasers, you can um, loud noises not directed at them. Uh, you know, I always say shoot a shotgun in the opposite direction. That'll get them up. You want to make them uncomfortable. Don't, you know, don't freak with this area without being harassed. And here in Johnson County, beef producer Tyler Ferguson hopes the effigy that he hung on his farm will keep the black vultures away from the calves already on the ground and the ones soon to be born. Tyler Ferguson is a part-time farmer in eastern Kentucky uh, come on. where he has a small cow-calf operation of about 30 cows and so far this year he has about eight calves already on the ground, with more on the way. He spotted a roost of black vultures with 75 to 100 birds not too far away from his farm. So he decided to make one of the effigies and hang it up after attending a meeting led by Matthew Springer on how to make the fake bird. So far I've not had any problem with them. And I hope that hanging this effigy will get out in front of the problem, stop it before it becomes a problem. <laughs> And being a small operation with just a few cows and calves, Ferguson said losing any of his herd is a big loss. It hurts us a little more being a small mm. producer. You know, it, that's a lot larger percentage of our calf crop just to lose ones. As Tyler said, one calf out of your 25, 26 calf crop is a big percentage compared to a bigger farm. So uh, the need is there and people are alert to this and they want to make sure that they don't take a big financial loss because of something that they may be able to prevent fairly easily. Producers should use more than one effigy depending on the pasture and size of the herd. And the effigies should be moved occasionally so the vultures don't become used to seeing them in the same location. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.